Hello, this is TJ, this is Christian Lego Maniac, and I am doing another one of my dream videos. I think this is episode 6. It's not as, as episode, it's episode 5. And so, in this dream, I start out, I'm with this man, and uh, he's, I think he's about in his 40s, maybe, maybe very late 30s, and most, maybe early 50s, very early 50s, not past 51. Somewhere around 39 to 51. Preferably around like 47. And years old. So like he's taking care of me. And we're with these explorers. The three, two friends of his I think. And we come across this thing that they call the hand of the equator. And I think that sounds so cool. It sounds like a powerful name. Or, uh, anyway, whenever, they say whenever... Anyone like finds or the kind of equator like peers, that means that well, they said that an orange tornado happens in LA, and this dream um, uh, happened uh, sometime back before the um, uh, if you might recall the earthquake we had in the Kansas. Comment down below if you remember that by the time I upload this video. Um. Anyway. That an orange trail happens in LA. I don't know if that's Louisiana or I don't know if that's um, uh, Los Angeles. Both have the initials of LA. So me and my buddy, I guess, who's in his 40s, reckon, um, go in this old truck, go down to LA, and there's one building where it supposedly happens. And all the people down there say, oh no, it's not gonna happen. No, nothing like that's gonna happen. So we go back down to wherever we live, and then overnight, the, the orange tornado strikes, and some of the people down there, since they, since we said it was going to happen, they gave us, or we won, or I don't know how it works, uh, like this new awesome truck. So like one uh, one moment we're in this old rundown, not rundown, but this old truck, and the next we're in this new truck. It looks really awesome. And so we drive back to LA, and we go into the building, and it. It's not really a tornado, it's like where the tornado struck, it was like a bunch of burned black marks. So then they like, it's like in that, what, in a room, what was it? Like you come in this, you come in this way, that way, and then right on the door, like right on the top edge of the roof, like, say right uh, there, that would be like, where it was, but it looked a lot different to where my room looks like. Anyway, um, we talked to some people, I each up on, on a conversation that I mostly forgot that was somehow about old glasses, and I forgot. And then I talked to this one lady who says she owns the place that it's happened, that the orange train has happened before, and some weird reason why I can't go upstairs. I can't remember all the details. And then I remember me and my pal, I guess, go get back in the truck and he drives into these doors of this building which turns out to be a bowling alley. He picks up a bowling ball and rolls it down a bowling lane and he gets a strike and then like the late, and this is all in the vehicle of like this truck. And then like the two ladies who are in the place like say like, hey, you can't do that. And we start turning around we go back outside. And, so where the bowling alley, the bowling alley is here, and then the road is, I'm trying to do this, the road's here, and it goes like that, it goes like that, it goes like an indent, and so the bowling alley is, bowling alley is here, road indents, and then the cop station is right here. So we drive out. And then the ladies on the porch start going over here saying, like, don't you move. We'll get you. So we just drive here. Go there. We just drive away. And then the dream ends. So that's, um, I believe, episode six on my dreams. Make sure to comment down below your dreams. I, I really like to hear your own dreams so you have. I find them really interesting. I think that's about it for this video. So um, uh, may the Lego be with you. Bye.